Sonny Bravo reporting live for Rap So Viral. Today's story is Drake paying tribute to Bow Wow while celebrating Hot 100 feature. Quote, if it wasn't for you, there would be no me. Drake just earned a historic Billboard Hot 100 debut with three songs topping the chart. And he used the occasion to thank one of his inspirations. After the entire Scary Hours 2 EP featuring Lil Baby and Rick Ross swiped the top three spots, Drizzy decided to throw a one, two, three themed party. The celebrations included Cake featuring the top 10 from the chart on it and the number of notable guests. Among them was Bow Wow, who appeared in a series of videos alongside Drake via his Instagram stories. In a clip Drake shared, he said, I want to thank you, man. Bow Wow interjected, offering his congratulations. After the celebrations had subsided, Champagne Poppy, as they call him on Instagram, posted more videos on his stories, one detailing what his friendship was with the rapper and Tokyo Drift star meant to him. Quote, I had to link with Wizzle. Everybody wants to have drinks and everybody wants to celebrate and turn up. And you know, I just had to see Wizzle. I had to see Wizzle in person. He said a Bow Wow. If it wasn't for you, there would be no me. That's why you know the rest. That's why I'm a rock with y'all forevermore. Drake is set to release his highly anticipated album, Certified Lover Boy, this year. And judging from the success of Scary Hours 2, it's going to make a big splash when it finally arrives. It's currently unclear if oh, What's Next or any of the other Scary Hours 2 songs will show up on the album, but Drizzy did share the Lil Dirk featuring single Laugh Now Cry Later from the album last year. Interesting. So as far as I know, no one ever knew that Drake had a lot of influence from Bow Wow and uh, that was one of the guys he looked up to. He has come up in that era, you know, him and Bow Wow are probably around the same age. I think me and Bow Wow are the same age and Drake is like my age, a year younger, year older, something like that. So it kind of makes sense, but um, that's really interesting because I've never heard anybody say that Bow Wow inspired them or Bow Wow was their influence or anything like that. Although I guess it's possible yeah, interesting story. Let me know what y'all think in the comments about this situation. Do you think Bow Wow has an influence on a lot of people in the game, even though he's kind of known as like the poppy kid rapper uh, for the most part? Let me know what you think in the comment section below. That's today's video. Sonny Bravo, Rap So Viral. I'm going to holler at y'all next time. 100. If you like what we're doing over here and you want to put a face to the name, go subscribe to the Sonny Bravo YouTube channel where we primarily discuss current events in the dating world from a black male perspective. Until next time, this is Sonny Bravo reporting live. Make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you get notified when more videos are released. I'ma holler at y'all next time, 100.